Welcome to the channel show, folks. Um, I did a video modifying this, and now I'm going to do a video on just a review on it. Should be a short, short to the point. So if you watch my modification uh, video on this, this pin used to be right here, and I had another cylinder, and that cylinder fit in between these holes and this hole. So when you would pull the, uh, remove her, I guess go to stow the thumb out of your way, it would it would suck itself back to about right here which would hit the bucket so i modified it but my problem is this is an amazon chimesium that great chinese steel that's in it I'm, I'm assuming they welded it on here solid as a jug uh from the people i bought it from but the problem is right here i don't know if you can see up in there it is wallered out to crap and back so i mean this thing used to be fairly tight uh when, when i first bought the machine because it was brand new this has literally never been in the in the dirt until i bought it and i maybe have 40 hours on the machine 50 hours somewhere around an hour on the machine and this thing is already that wore out and that sloppy so i'm gonna have to do yet again some more modification and i'm what my plan is is to add steel to the inside on both of these re-drill the hole in this after adding steel so it has more surface area maybe welding filling this back up re-drilling it out and maybe that will hold up because this is thinner than this maybe that's why this is wallered out quicker than this because the outside ain't too wallered out i'll take it apart and let you see it so all right so this is the pin that it comes with and as you can see that is about the tolerance um that it had from the factory because i never used it in this hole i made new holes but this is for the cylinder i moved it back to this one so i'm not really worried about showing you this one but right here is the new tolerance and i mean i i'm not 100 sure how much you can see there which it's holding up all right the problem is is this this hole i mean look how wallered out that is all right there's no grease fittings on it there's no way for me to grease it yeah look at that hole that it's wallered out so i guess if you're gonna buy the amazon cheap chinese made junk uh that's what you're gonna get i've got the low hours of 50 hours on it probably and that pin, like I said, I did not modify this all. This still right here is uh, thinner than that one. And that one didn't wear out as quick as this one. So maybe by, by me adding steel to the inside here, I can bring breathe some life back into it. But this ain't going to last me 100 hours on this machine. And it's going to rip through. You can see right here, this is already stretching out. And it's just the E26 Bobcat. It's not a, it's not a very strong machine to say uh and, and it's already wearing that thumb out that much so that's just a heads up if you plan on buying one maybe that's something you need to look for it would probably better to go ahead and spend the money on the uh thumb that is designed for it or one that's going to go on the pins and then hook to this spot yeah they're you know 15 to two thousand dollars depending on your machine this thing's only you know 400 bucks on the internet or 500 bucks or whatever it is pretty cheap, but if I had bought this, put it on this machine, and then I would have modified all of this right here so it would be out of my way uh, when I'm working the excavator. I mean, now you're looking at probably 800, 850 bucks. So double that, get it done right. You know, cry once, buy once, cry once. Probably the way you should go. If you barely do any work, like if you got a little Kubota like I got, and you want to put one of these thumbs on, on, on that and plumb all that in, if you're wanting to go that route, hey, maybe that is an all right route, but as for something that you're going to be using, something that's got a little bit more power to it, I do not recommend buying this hunk of junk. So, well, thanks for watching the Chilton Show, folks, and as always, see you on the next one. God bless.